Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and today I'm going to be taking you through my everyday makeup routine. Before we get started, my necklace is from EP Jewels. Before you guys ask, it is from EP Jewels. As you can see, I am breaking out a tiny bit. My skin has been doing so well recently, but as you can see, I'm breaking out like a tiny bit. So I'm going to show you how I do my makeup to cover my hyperpigmentation. Also disregard the mess in the back. Like I did a try on haul on Reels. This is the mess that it left behind. So disregard that. I took off my press-ons yesterday and I feel so good. They look so bad, but I'm going to put on new press-ons tomorrow. But anyways, I prepped my skin already with the Rode Peptide, the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. And I'm also going to go in with the Rode Glazing Milk. I've been loving Rode products recently. They're just so hydrating and they help your makeup go on literally so flawlessly. I basically use this as a primer and it's just so good. It's the perfect consistency. It makes your makeup look incredible. I have my mirror down here, by the way. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. Like, do you see that? I'm glowing to the gods right now. And it's all because of the road glazing milk. I always use a beauty blender because I have tried every beauty sponge under the sun, but nothing compares to the original beauty blender. I don't know what it is. Just density and the texture of it is just so good i have yet to try james charles's oversized sponge because i've heard really good things about that um maybe that will be a close second i'm not sure i've heard a lot of good things about that one so i ordered it off of tiktok shop <laughs> why do i feel so awkward filming today i'm like nervous i always start with the luminous silk foundation this is my holy grail i usually mix two shades um this is shade six and i mix shade 7.8 i have an olive complexion so it's really hard for me to find a foundation that matches my skin color because olive shades are just so difficult like a lot of brands don't make olive undertone products i've been using this foundation for like a year now it gives you the perfect summertime glow it covers up any of your hyperpigmentation because i used to have really bad acne but now i just have like hyperpigmentation left over from my previous breakouts why am i so aggressive i'm like I will always be a foundation girl because I think concealer is like a little bit too thick for me. It just doesn't give you that like flawless base with only concealer in my opinion. I don't know. Or maybe it's just this particular foundation that does it for me. I haven't tried a lot of concealers either so maybe that's why. But then I'm going to go in with my Kosas concealer which is clearly running out. I don't have that much left. And I just go right under my eye, make a little triangle shape under both of my eyes. I just blended my concealer out really quickly. I'm gonna go in with one of my holy grails. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Sculpting Stick in Dark. And this is like my favorite contour stick. I literally just do the bridge of my nose right there right here and we're gonna blend that in with my morphe y6 brush they don't make this brush anymore and i haven't found another brush i like and this one is like she's been through it i don't know how much longer she's gonna last so i'm concerned if you guys have any contour like foundation brushes that you enjoy please comment them I'm using this one for way too long when you're contouring your nose you want to make sure you're not moving the product you just want to keep it in the exact same spot that you put it down because if you like buff it out your nose is going to end up looking huge and we want it to look tiny and snatched I like to place my contour a little higher as you can tell because it just lifts your face up. I just put my blush right 
on top of where I put the contour down. So for blushes, I've been using the Rode blushes and the Glossier cloud paints. These two are like my favorites right now. For powder blush, I love the House Labs Color Fuse Blush in French Rosette. It's literally the prettiest coral color ever. Today, since it's our everyday makeup, I'm just gonna go in with Freckle. It's this road blush, and I'm gonna put it right on the top of where I put my contour, and I'm gonna focus it on the outside of my face just to lift a little bit more and a tiny bit on the tip of my nose. So just the high points. I just blended it out. I love the road blushes because they blend out literally so easily. I love the formula, it's so good. Now I'm just gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in Banana Bread. This is my favorite powder, and I don't bake with it. I literally just put it right under my eyes. I reverse contour my nose just underneath. I always take a little bit of powder and just go underneath my blush and contour and carve out my jawline so it looks like my jawline's a little bit more defined. Now I'm gonna go in with a powder blush. I'm using the House Labs Color Fuse Blush in French Rosette and I'm gonna set my cream blush with this. I just use the same brush and I take the tiniest bit, go right at the high points of my face and just dab a little bit of color on. I don't want to go too crazy with the blush because it's an everyday makeup look, okay? I just want to look a little bit sunburnt. I also take my Fenty Kilowatt highlighter. This is the duo, so it has fire crystal and lightning dust. I just take fire crystal and I'm going to put a little bit in my inner corners and the tip of my nose. For my brows, I'm just going to brush them up and since I have pretty thick and full brows already I just lightly oh that was not what I wanted to do I just go underneath them and fill in any sparse areas that I might have in the brow I just finished up my eyebrows I just filled in any sparse areas use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz in ebony I've been using this for years now I like it but I also like the Kosas nano brow because that is like so tiny and precise you can get the most hair like strokes with that thing I love that one but I recently ran out so I stole my mom's brow whiz and I'm using it. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and just go in with a little bit of mascara. Usually for every day, I don't use any eyeshadow and eyeliner because, I don't know, personally, I'm just not a fan of eyeshadow and I feel like that makes it a little bit more glam. So I just don't wear it on a daily basis, but if I do wear it I would just put like a natural color all over my lid and then like a little bit of a darker brown on the outer corners even when I'm going out I don't really do crazy eyeshadow looks the only time I did one was like for my birthday because I wanted it to be super super glam but honestly I'm just not the best at eyeshadow so I kind of stay away from it I'm using the Grande Lash Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. This mascara is so freaking good. I actually got sent this by Grande Lash, so thank you Grande Lash for sending it to me. I have never heard anyone talk about this mascara and it's actually so good. It makes your lashes so long and so thick. Like, can you see that difference? I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the difference between the two is actually insane. The secret to getting long lashes is to take a lash comb after you put on your mascara and just brush out your lashes. This lash comb is from Doe Beauty and I absolutely love it. Like, each lash will be separated to the gods so the last step is lips obviously this is a natural everyday makeup look so i'm just gonna go in with my holy grail 
Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk to Medium Lip Liner. This is the exact shade. I can't talk and do this at the same time, but this is the exact shade of my lips. It's so good. This color is flattering on all skin types. I've seen people of all colors, all races use this and it looks good on all of them. So I don't know how this color is so universal, but Charlotte Tilbury like nailed it. I'm just gonna go in with the Kaja Love Blur. It's literally just a lip balm that is really similar to the color of the lip liner. It gives you that like your lips but better look. And I just kind of blend both of them together. I don't like when you can see your lip liner and your lip color separated. Like I need them to be blended. But some people like that look, but I don't. Then after I have like the natural color on my lips, um, for a finishing touch, I go in with the Rode Peptide Lip Tints. I actually just bought two new colors. I got Toast and Ribbon. So let's try Toast today. I think toast would go like really well with this lip combo. We shall see. Yeah, that is really pretty. I love a little bit of shine to my lips. Oh, so if you just want a little bit of something on your lips, I would just go in with this. But today I wanted a little bit more color. I don't know, I was in a colorful mood. And then I set everything with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've used this for years as well and nothing sets like this. It just gives you the glowiest, most beautiful finish ever. But the thing is just don't spray too much otherwise all your makeup is going to literally melt off and get ruined. I've done that before. I've gone like ham on the setting spray. You know how beauty influencers back in the day used to like douse themselves in setting spray? Um, I did that and all my makeup came running off and you could see streaks on my face it was literally tragic because my makeup looked so good that day too so just don't do that and you'll be okay <laughs> and this is the finished everyday makeup look thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think about the makeup look and the products that I used please comment your favorite products down below because I'm always in need of new products and I love to try out new makeup products so comment your favorite products down below and I will go and buy them and use them because I am so easily influenced but anyways I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching bye guys